Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me this evening. Um, I'm doing another one of my videos. I'm just on my way to bed here in a few minutes. I'm doing a little bit of my reading at night and um, I was looking around on Facebook and I was looking around. I've got this thing called the Paper Lee, L-I. It's a thing kind of where you make this kind of uh, newspaper for yourself based on certain subjects. I was reading that, I was looking at a couple of uh, uh, not totally raw vegan pages on uh, Facebook, but a couple of uh, just mixed groups on there, or people that are trying to be raw vegan, vegan. Um, and I was on Twitter looking at a couple of things, and one thing that I've noticed today, well I've noticed before, but it just kind of like, I don't know, it just kind of piled up today, and I saw it a bunch of times, is, uh, i.e. the why I came up with the title for this uh, video. Do we need these potions, pills, powers, superfoods, or concoctions to be healthy? Um, and I would say, just real quickly, I'm not going to uh, drag this one out, I would say no. Now there are things out there, it's not, it doesn't hurt to supplement or add some things every once in a while. I mean, I wouldn't say that I have nothing. I do like spirulina. Um, I believe the spirulina is good, it's very dense, it's got protein, it's good for uh, pulling metals out of your body. Um, I wouldn't call it a necessity. I have access to it, I think it's beneficial, I take it. don't really need it. But I'm looking through, you know, all these, um, let's see just some of the things that there are. And you know, I see this all the time, I, whether it's in, um, and a lot of times it comes from the newbies. The newbies are the ones that seem to get and they're probably a little enthusiastic. I remember when I first got into this lifestyle just being kind of overwhelmed. But, and you can get caught up in, you know, there's a lot of things that are discussed that I got no clue what they're talking about. They'll pull some specific product. Oh, do I need to be taking this? Do I need to be taking that? Um, let's see, I've got my Facebook page. I mean, just some of the things I've seen, like, you know, and, and, and like I say, so don't anybody call me out on each individual product. I'm not saying that these products don't have value, but I'm just saying when you see somebody that just have products, products all over their house, they're probably missing it. Because the bottom line, one of the, one of the simplest things for you to remember here in this lifestyle, whether it's vegan, raw vegan, raw level four, whatever, is you are getting the the majority of the benefit that you're getting in your health in your body is from what you are leaving out of your diet it's not any of these tricky things you're putting in like the spirulinas the maca the the enzymes the probiotics um, the probiotics i'll hold off on a little bit because um, i don't have stomach issues and i don't i don't see any reason to use them for me whatsoever probiotics might be an exception there um, but mostly, and I could go on and on and on and on, there's products, there's like, uh, I'm looking at my paper right now, and it just goes back to, I think people are looking for how they used to do things to, to, to deal with their health or with losing weight, like, here's uh, garlic capsules. I don't want to take garlic capsules, I eat fresh garlic, or there's some people that don't eat garlic, I know. Uh, nude food, they have these bars, these these uh, made up bars and whatever. Um, there's maca. God, some of this stuff, I don't even know what it is. There's maca. I see people with uh, vegan protein. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, vegan protein. More powders. More powders. I see a lot of powders. I see a lot of people that take photos and uh, share that uh, have powders. And I, quite honestly, and I'm not saying I'm the smartest guy in the world, and just because I don't know something doesn't mean it's not valid, but, you know, I hear newbies talking about, like, discussing topics sometimes, and it's over complicated things. Should I be eating this? Um, and um, once again, I'm not sure. None of these, like, because I'm using these examples, I'm not saying every one of these examples standing alone is worthless. I'm just saying there's more of a collective mentality of having bunches of products in your house. I just I honestly believe we don't need to have a bunch of things to live this lifestyle and be successful living this lifestyle and to be healthy. Um, we just need to be eating good um, fresh fruits and vegetables. 
Um, we're le if we're leaving that, if we're leaving the flesh, if we're leaving the dairy, if we're leaving um, processed food, processed sugar, we're so many steps ahead of the game right there. So I think it should be, we should focus more on just going ahead and, and sometimes it's almost like trying to balance out the scales. I was talking with a buddy of mine the other day and he doesn't follow this lifestyle, not, not whatsoever, but he's a fairly healthy guy and he's conscious about what he eats. He does get a lot of products. Um, he's, an, he's a smart guy, he does a lot of research, but, and he knows what he's doing. Um, I've tried, I'm never gonna get him to go vegan, but he has stomach issues and he will like eat a pizza or something and then he'll use this other stuff, like he'll have maca or you know whatever the type things. Now, all I was saying to him, and I think he knows that, and he, you know, he's got a family, and he does pretty well. He doesn't eat garbage, but he likes to eat what he eats. And I think his mentality, and I think this is the mentality of a lot of people, <clears throat> is maybe the products cancel out the bad things, but see me as the person that doesn't want to spend any unneeded money or do any unneeded steps, see, I'd rather just leave out the bad stuff and then not need any of the products, even if they help in the first place. But... You know, I hear a lot of people talk about this from time to time, and I don't necessarily think everything's a conspiracy or everybody has bad intentions, but you know, all this, all these things that are being sold in the raw vegan world and all these supplements and all these things you need. I mean, there's a couple of websites, and I'm not trying to start anything here, so I'm not going to, I don't even really have anybody in particular in mind. Sometimes I just have like an idea in mind of, of a collection of things I've seen. So I'm thinking of, several websites I've been across that are just like for the raw vegan lifestyle or for our lifestyle that's a website that probably has a hundred products on there and I just have to think is that even remotely necessary okay you might have a couple of products everybody's got their few things they use but like are there a hundred beneficial useful products out there period anyhow not going to run on and on about this one tonight. It's just something for you to think about. If you're just getting started on your journey, don't get caught up in all this. You need to have this. You need to have that. You need to do this. Almost like there's this big list and you're going to feel overwhelmed. Like, am I missing something? Try to clean up your diet. Try to get rid of those bad things that we talked about. Eliminate them from your diet. Um, try to eat as, many, uh, as much fresh fruit and vegetables as possible. Um, eat as much as you want, eat until you're satisfied, and it's pretty simple. But I don't think you need to be worrying too much about, okay, let me put a spoonful of this, a couple of pinches of that, blah, 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 and the Vitamix, and da 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 da, -da. you got 12 ingredients in there. Um, you know, I've heard several people talk on this subject, I don't know who, who most recently I've heard talk, but, uh, I think it can kind of, con I don't know, I don't know, I'm just rambling here. It can confuse the body. I just don't think we need to make these smoothies. I don't think we need to make any of this stuff with six, seven, eight ingredients in there. The simpler we stay, the better. Stay away from the pills, the potions, the powders, and concoctions. Focus on eating clean, eating, uh, eating uh, fresh whole plant-based foods. Get organic when you can. Drink a lot of water. Breathe deeply, and you're going to be okay. You don't need to buy a whole lot of things to do it. Anyhow, hope you like this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel, and hope you're having a great week. Peace.